Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando free to play back on my free to play Taiwan server account. Now, you guys might have seen this or might have heard uh, some rumors about it, uh, but yes, it does look like IGG is going to be releasing a new hero. It's going to be called the Chronicler. Now let's go ahead and let's uh, let's take a look. It's not an 11k hero. All right. Uh, so let's just go ahead and let's take a quick look. So it looks like this hero is going to be managing, or I should say, going to be increasing the infantry range and cavalry counters. So as you guys may or may not have noticed, IGG is trying to shift the meta into counters, which is good and also kind of problematic in the way that they're doing it, right? And I'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, yeah, Chronicler, aka Lisa. So she is a pay to play hero, pay to win hero. I'm not sure exactly how much she's going to cost at the end of the day, but that's something for somebody else to figure out. I really don't care. So let's just go ahead and get into the battle skills because that's what most people are going to be getting her for. So at gold grade, she is going to be giving uh, all three of the counters a 15% increase. Now, as you guys will see, under the word Cavalry, it says Passive. So, this means that this hero will not be required on your wall or on your uh, attack battalions for this, inc for this counter increase to be applied, right? It's Passive. It's already there as just by having the hero... Um, obviously, if you just get it to uh, gray grade, then it's only 0.75. But if you get it all the way to gold, it's 15% for all three. All right, so that in itself sounds really, really good. Unfortunately, this is a pay to win hero. It, you know, it. I do not expect IGG to release a new free to play hero. And by free-to-play, I mean completely free-to-play, where we have to do it through hero, um, you know, we grind the hero medals uh, by sweeping, you know, the, uh, the different stages. I really, really doubt IGG will ever do something like that for us, but, you know, one can hope, right? So, let's go ahead and let's take a look at her actual hero skills. Uh, so you have Splash Lash. This is her ultimate, so it, it attacks enemies with painting, dealing long damage to enemies in a line and lowering their magic defense for 8 seconds. Here it says it deals 5,533 magic damage to a single enemy. It also lowers the target's magic defense by 240. This is a little confusing, mainly because the description and then the details on the damage don't really match up, right? Because in the description it says it's a long range attack that attacks enemies in a line. But the damage description says it's going to deal 5,000 damage to a single enemy. So, kind of confusing me a little bit. Maybe it's referring to it's for however many enemies it hits. Each one will be dealt 5,000 damage. Maybe? I don't know. Um, also, it will uh, lower their magic defense. Which is not bad. Uh, passive is going to be a uh, in increase, uh, pretty much increasing the, uh, the rate in which the ultimate recharges for herself, right? Snow Queen has something similar to this, but it applies it to the entire group. This is just for herself, okay? Uh, Colors of the Wind, uh, pretty much uh, it's an area of effect. A damaging skill that'll immobilize enemies for two seconds and will stay on the ground for five seconds So it's like a one of those pulsing abilities, right? Uh, pretty much uh, it'll deal about 5,000 damage and it'll essentially lock or immobilize 
the heroes for two seconds, which is actually pretty good. Might be useful in Colosseum. Then we have Birdie Blitz. Uh, pretty much paints a bird that will flutter among enemies and attack them up to six times. So I don't know if this is going to be like it's going to bounce between enemies or if it's just going to stick to one and just deal, you know, 12,000 damage over its six uh, times, right? Because it's going to deal 2,000 damage six times, right? So that's going to be interesting. Uh, it's going to be like a mini Rose Knight ultimate. Uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty interesting how this hero is going to be used. Now, uh, for the most part... Um, like I said, this hero is a pay to win hero, and we, as a free to play player, we kind of have to be used to IgG really not caring about how the shift in metas is going to really affect us. I mean, in reality, we're the ones that have been causing the shift in the meta because you have you know accounts that have spent hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars on an account and they cannot single burn um, one rally target that i'm pretty sure rubs a lot of titans the wrong way um in the sense that they have spent uh, copious amounts of money on an account where I have spent zero, I just spent my time, and they can't single rally burn me. So, or another account similar to mine, or, you know, free-to-play account, or low spender account, whatever, you know, non-Titans, right? That's why you see, you know, a big, big increase in rally parties, because that's all they can do, right? Rally party with the bunny. And once the bunnies used up and they've used up their pardon, I mean, they're 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 kind of done for for the day, right? That that's really all they can do against everybody or anybody. So yeah, the meta is changing. It's gonna be counters. It's gonna be uh, at least triple rallies on targets. Uh, one infantry, one cab, one range, and they're going to be hoping one of them is going to counter and be able to burn and rescue leaders. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like uh, that's the direction that IGG is trying to push the game into. Um, I don't like it myself, but I can see why they're doing it. And uh, it's just something that we're going to have to end up uh, learning to live with. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below and until next time guys, see ya.